guys, today I'm doing my February favorites video and I'm pretty excited because I didn't do a January favorites. So it's kind of like the last two months combined and quite a few products that are like brand new that, well at least that I've never mentioned on my channel before because I've been trying to like break out of my comfort zone and try new products and stuff because I'm just someone that if I like a product I stick with it month after month, after month and I'm just like, I have nothing new to share with you guys because I'm using the same exact things. So, but yeah, I actually am trying quite a few new products out. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. And this video is actually a collab with one of my really good friends, Dana, here on YouTube. Her channel is Dana Ann. And I will put her little favorites video here as well. So definitely make sure to check out her channel and subscribe if you love beauty, makeup, tutorials, reviews. She does all those kind of videos. She's absolutely gorgeous and just has very informative videos. And I know you guys are going to love her channel. So definitely check it out. Subscribe. I'll link her video below. We're also doing a little giveaway towards the end of our favorites videos so stay tuned for that in this video okay, so on to my favorites one of my favorites for sure this month or in the last month has been these NARS little um, dual intensity eyeshadows they're called they come in these cute little like magnetized compacts and the color that I have is called Himalaya and it's like a bronzy shimmery color and I barely have to touch it and you get such a strong color payoff it's probably the most money I've ever spent on like a single eyeshadow but because you can use it wet or dry you can really get two different looks out of it really because dry you just get that nice sheer color like I just showed you but well, actually it's not sheer color a nice intense color but when you use it wet you get almost like a foily look to your lid which is so great for like at nighttime and stuff or daytime if you want to rock foily lids in the daytime but it's just so beautiful. I love this color. I would definitely recommend this specific color and I'll put a link below. Everything I talk about I will link below for you guys because I'm trying to get better at that. Usually I'll just list what I'm talking about but I'm going to try and find links for you guys from now on in all my videos. So I just wanted to mention the other color that I have this in. It's called Andromeda. It's like a shimmery kind of like iridescent highlight color. I like this one not as much as the other color that I have, but I figured I might as well just show you it in video so you can see what it looks like. The lip favorite, this is a lip liner, which I never wear lip liners literally ever, but I'm too scared to get lip injections and I kind of wanted to see what my lips would look like a little bit bigger than what they naturally are. Like I'm def deathly scared of needles. Like I just can't do it. Um, so I use this color. It's by Makeup Forever. I don't know the name of it. It just says 3C, but it's a super natural, like mauve nude color and it matches my skin pretty perfect so I actually have it on today. I just barely outlined my upper lip like outside of the natural lip line and then I just put on a little gloss. It actually came in the same kit as this. It's this little kit. Actually the kit, I don't know the name of it but it was from their like um, 50 Shades of Grey Makeup Forever collection. So I'll link the kit below, but it comes with three products. Aqua Rouge that it comes with, so it's like a lip cream and then a lip gloss on the other side. The kit also comes with like a lab shine, like a mauve shimmery gloss with golden flecks in it. So it's really, really pretty. Um, my favorite from that little um, set is definitely the lip liner, but the entire set is awesome. So definitely check that out if you're into nude mauve kind of lips, or if you wanna make your lips look bigger, that little set has definitely been helping me like achieve that fuller look without actually having to like get injections. Now polish favorite, I posted this on my Instagram. I also posted this on my blog, polishandpearls.com. It is just the prettiest blue in the entire world. It's by China Glaze and it's called Consulta My Manicurist. You can only get this on Alta's website or Alta in the store. I will put the link below. I'll also link the blog post that I posted this in in case you don't follow me on Instagram and you didn't see that uh, picture. But it's just the prettiest color. You do have to do three coats, but what I love about this is that it's kind of like a baby blue nail polish but it's so intensely bright it almost looks like it's like a neon baby blue which I feel like that kind of color is kind of hard to come by and it's just it's awesome I wore it for like the last I just changed my nails today I wore it for like the last week and I'm just obsessed with this color. You need this in your life if you like that kind of color. I wanted to mention one of the products that I showed in my Lush haul the first time I ever went to Lush. And I've had a lot of comments since that haul saying do an updated video on the products that I liked and the ones that I didn't like. And I've actually already gone to Lush again. <laughs> to try more things that you guys were recommending to me so definitely probably in like a month or two I'll do like my favorite things from Lush and the ones that I didn't like as much because there have been quite a few products that I haven't liked and I definitely would not repurchase but this is a favorites video so I wanted to mention one that I really really love it's the Rose Argon Body Conditioner 
skin conditioner and this stuff is seriously insane I've used a bunch of it already as you can tell I try to not use it every shower even though I really really want to just so I can prolong the life of this because I feel like I'm using it pretty quickly but it's just like a cream kind of has the consistency of a hair conditioner but once you're done with your shower put it on your entire body when you're still in the shower then rinse it off when you get out of the shower you're kind of like coated in this like really soft oil not super greasy then I just pat my entire body off with my towel I don't really rub and then you are just so moisturized you don't have to use a body lotion which I love that because I get so lazy when it comes to putting on my lotion when I get out of the shower. It smells really, really good. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of the smell. The scent is called Rose Jam, because I'm not a super florally person, but this scent has grown on me, because it's super sweet too, and I'm just obsessed with this. So I would highly recommend this if you've never tried it at Lush before. Super, super good, and I will totally be repurchasing this next time I go to Lush, because I think I'm gonna run out pretty fast. I have two jewelry favorites, actually. These rings that I'm wearing, which are from Alex and Annie, and I love them so much. They're kind of jingly, and I. I don't own like any other like charm rings like this and I just think they're so much fun and I've seen so many people talk about the Alex and Annie charm bracelets which I love I have a couple of those but I think the rings are actually like more fun I think a lot of people don't talk about these rings because they're actually more expensive than the bracelets which at first I was confused and then I realized it's because these are like gold plated 14 karat gold plated and the bracelets they're not like anything, they might be like brass or something, I'm not sure. Um, but so these have actual gold on them, so they're more expensive than the bracelets, but I'm just so in love with these. I think they're so much fun, and I have three of them now. You can stack them all up on each other because the bands are so thin, the wires, um, and they're like one size fits all, and I have kind of fat fingers, and they fit me fine, so, because you can like expand them just like the bracelets, so. Loving those, and then also these earrings that I'm wearing. They're kind of like an evil eye flare, and it's it's the kind of earring that has like the back separate from the front, which I'm loving that style. And I purchased these myself from Bobble Bar. I know that Bobble Bar like sponsors sponsors a bunch of YouTubers and stuff, but purchased these with my own money, and I just love them so much. They're so fun. The only thing is that they're a little bit annoying to put on because I have other earrings that are similar to this, where the back of the earring is like connected to the post. And usually they're actually connected, so it's super easy to put on. But the back part of these earrings that goes behind your earlobe is totally separate from like the actual post of the earring, if that makes sense. So it's kind of annoying to put on, but they're so, so cute. So I will have those linked below as well. Right, my last favorite I thought I would just mention because these are like so beautiful. And I've wanted these ones for a while, these sunglasses for a while. They are the Ray-Ban Classic Aviators. Now, if you watch my vlogs, you know that I wear I wear Ray-Bans almost every single day. I, I feel like they're the most classic sunglasses. They're actually, for being like a high-end brand of sunglasses, they're on the way cheaper side, because like if you're buying like Chanel or Gucci or whatever, those are usually around the $300 range, and Ray-Bans are usually around like 100-ish. Decided to get the classic aviators with the gold frame, and I got the brown lenses. I was debating between the black lenses and the brown. I saw a picture of Jennifer Aniston, and she had the brown ones, and they just look so like classic on her. It's like, you don't get any more classic than these sunglasses. They are gonna be in style literally forever they're super fashionable and just i love aviators i feel like they look good on anybody's face shape it's one of those like universal flattering um shapes of sunglasses so i just wanted to mention those because i know summer and stuff is coming around and if you're looking for a new pair of sunglasses definitely get the ray-ban aviators i highly recommend those i have one more thing i totally forgot i actually did instagram these but i've been so into stationery and paper clips and just all that kind of stuff lately. I got this little set from Forever 21. I'll put a link below. I actually ordered it on their website. I don't know if it's in the store or not, but it's by Bando, which is actually a really good brand that they sell at like Nordstrom and stuff. So I was surprised that Forever 21 now sells like random brands besides their own, but it's this little set of all these different sticky notes. And I just love the design on all of them. And I just love that they're actually sticky so I can like put them by my computer. If it was just like regular notepads and they didn't stick, probably wouldn't be as excited, but they're just so cute. So if you're into stationery or you just need some extra notepads on your desk or something, definitely get these. They are so cute. I also got these little flamingo paper clips when I purchased that as well from Forever 21. They are just so cute. I love anything flamingo. I don't know, it's just so cute. Um, and they were like $3 for this entire pack. So, so cute. I thought I would just mention those in case you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know I purchased those. Okay, so that is all of my favorites for this month. Now on to the giveaway with Dana. We are both going to be giving away either an Ulta 
or a Sephora gift card. That way if you saw like anything that you liked in our favorites videos and you want to try it out yourself, that way you can have your own gift card. So it's going to be a $25 gift card and all you have to do is be subscribed to both of our channels and I don't know the exact end date and all that stuff, but everything will be, everything will be listed in the description box. So if you want to win a $25 Sephora card or Ulta card, it'll be your choice. I haven't purchased it yet, so whoever wins, I'll just ask you which one you want. Um, but if you would like to be entered into that giveaway, then check the description box. Certainly go subscribe to Dana's channel and watch her favorites video. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.